For today's beginner's guide for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, we'll look at a character that recently I found out two things that surprised me. The first was that he's actually incredibly popular on the channel and in regards to which character I was going to cover first out of the Curse of the Vampire DLC, he actually won by a fair percent. Now the fact he bet Blade really did surprise me. Second thing I found out is that if you make any comparisons in any way between Moon Knight and Batman, it makes certain people really unhappy. So I'm going to make sure I don't do this in this video. Now, for this beginner's guide anyway, to give you an idea of how he plays, we start off with the overview and we'll check out his stats. We'll then do a deep dive into his abilities. Next up it's the team bonuses. We then have a look at the synergy attacks that are available. We'll check out the build options available and we'll talk about the optimal ISO 8. We'll then have a look at his pretty awesome looking alternative costume and then to finish up we'll do a quick summary. So let's jump in and start off with the overview. Moon Knight is primarily a melee character, but he does have a, a range skill thrown in there as well. Now, genuinely, I don't go on too well with hybrid characters, but I found out of the, the four characters released with the downloadable content that his combat flowed the best, and it's one of the best characters in regards to how he actually feels for his combat. It really does flow exceptionally well. Now, when we look at his hero trait, it's glide, so this is very similar to flight. It seems to be a little bit faster. He can't sustain it for as long. His light attack is a gap closer to an extent, so that's really great for a melee character. There's less whiffing when you cast it, and you'll throw off a series of punches and finish with an uppercut. His heavy attack, he'll fire out the staff, is a little bit on the slower side, but if you hold down the block button to do the animation cancel, and you can see it on screen at the moment, it actually speeds it up a considerable amount. His ultimate attack is a short ranged AoE where first he'll go in with a series of punches and then he follows it up by throwing out uh, a load of things that are most definitely not explosive batterings. His stats he does fairly decent, his strength is B, vitality is a C, mastery is C, resilience is a B, durability is a D and then energy is a B there. So nothing too incredible with the stats but certainly better than some of the characters in this upcoming downloadable content. Now that's the general overview, let's have a quick look at his abilities. first ability we have here is Moonland and this one is very similar to the teleport skill you have on Nightcrawler in that when you hold down the button you can aim it or if you just tap it you'll simply jump up and down in that area he is. I like the fact that you've got the, the two options here to be more precise or just fire it off as a quick attack it does offer him a nice amount of mobility as well so overall I really do like this skill. The next ability we have is Vengeance Burst, where once again he definitely does not throw out what could be classed as batterings at all. This one is really nice, it does a considerable amount of damage and it's really good at taking out trash as well. So if you start off with Moon Landing to jump towards an enemy and then follow up with Vengeance Burst to jump back out of harm's way, it just feels really fun. We then have Concho's Fury, which is your, your primary damage dealing skill for single targets for bosses and elites once they've actually been staggered. You can see the damage rating is up at A. This is very similar to Wolverine's skill that does essentially the same thing. So with this, I found that you actually do more damage if you just tap it and you do the initial burst animation and then you finish up with the slam at the end. It does seem to do a lot more damage that way, but if you're going up against low level minions, then you can just spam it. And this is a great skill to use after you've used Moon Landing to get in the enemy's face. For the final ability we have another gap closing skill, so this is one you'll generally start your rotation of. This is called Crescent Kick. Fly towards the enemy, you'll do a move very similar to one that Black Panther actually does with his gap closer, the difference being that you'll get this nice crescent moon shape that you can see on screen at the moment. So in regards to his rotation, as I've already mentioned, it just flows really well. You've got two gap closers, and then from there you can choose to wheel away in the enemy, or if it's a particularly dangerous one and you need to back away, then you can use your vengeance burst to jump back, and then you can jump back in again. It really does just feel so much fun. So that's all his abilities. Let's have a look at his team bonuses now. When it comes
it comes to team bonuses then, Moon Knight is in three different teams, so there's not a great amount of bonuses you can get from the team bonus system. So the three teams he's in, it's Anti-Heroes, Midnight Suns and also Marvel Knights. Now the, the best character to team him up with in regards to team bonuses and one with his overlap in all three of the teams would be Blade. Other characters you've got that you can get decent bonuses out of if you pair them up with, you've got Elektra, Elsa Bloodstone, Ghost Rider, Punisher and then also Morbius as well there. So that's all the team bonuses, let's now have a look at the synergies that are available. For the synergy attacks, he actually has four synergy traits. Now, normally, this would indicate there's a lot of synergy attacks available, but looking at all the characters available in the game, he's actually in the, the bottom 10 because the synergy traits he has are ones that other characters can't normally interact with. But the four in total he's got it's Slam, Burst, Barrage, and also Launch. If you look at the top five characters that he synergizes well with, so if you're doing a synergy trial or gauntlet, these are the ones to go for. You've got Star Lord, Crystal, Loki, Storm, and also Venom. Bottom five, so these are characters that you struggle to get synergy attacks with, so you want to avoid them if you're doing the content I mentioned a moment ago. It's Nightcrawler, Colossus, Hulk, Thanos, and then finally Scarlet Witch once again. I'm not sure if she'll ever get the rework that she does deserve, but she's at the bottom again. Now, that's all the synergy attacks. Let's have a look at the build options that are available. When it comes to build options then you can unfortunately specialise into a specific damage type to push out the most amount of damage due to the fact he's got the melee and also the energy tags in his skill and the energy tagged skill is actually a really fun one and I use a lot. If it wasn't I would drop it and I would go full melee but I do really like using this in my rotation. You can see I'm using it a fair bit in the gameplay at the moment and it's just an awesome skill. Now for that reason that we're using mixed tags you would go for increased damage by 16.5 so that applies to everything and then increase crit hit chance by 8%. I always like to put a bit of crit hit chance on characters that aren't doing a huge amount of stagger or don't have an element at all. Also with Moon Knight I've actually found that placing that increased resistance while attacking by a ton onto him as well just helps his combat flow even better. Or not that he, he needs it a great deal but it just makes him feel even nicer. So that's the, the build option, pretty simple there. Let's now have a look at the alternative costume and how you unlock it. At the moment then we just have the simple recolouring but I would say this is probably one of the best recolourings in the game. It looks absolutely incredible. It's the black and white look. You can see the, the crescent shape on his chest is the white so it really does stand out there but I absolutely love this costume. Now in regards to a future costume we could get for him, if I had to pick one myself I would say it has to be the Mr Knight which is essentially just like a white suit and again you can see that on screen. That would be the one that would most definitely get my vote but let me know in the comments below what costume you would like to see for him coming next and let's actually just finish up now with a quick summary. As mentioned at the start of the video then, Moon Knight is a character that before I, I even done this beginner's guide he really did surprise me in regards to how popular he was in the channel and again how mad some people got when I made the, the Batman comparison. I unfortunately had to delete some of the over the top comments otherwise I would put them here but some people really did go a bit crazy about it. Now the third thing that's really surprised me with him is that out of all the Curse of the Vampire characters He's actually the one that I would say probably plays the best and it does make me a little bit sad because I was hoping it would be Blade but the combat in Moon Knight just feels absolutely fantastic. Having a, a hybrid character where the, the range skill can be used to actually give yourself some distance and the fact he's got the two skills that can close the gap and how fluid his basic attack feels, he's just a, an absolutely fantastic character. One of the few criticisms I have is that he doesn't feel very original because some of his skills are available on other characters but I would much rather have a character that feels unoriginal and plays well than a character that they've tried to make different such as Blade but maybe doesn't flow as well but obviously I'll talk about that a lot more when we do get to the Blade Beginner's Guide but for Moon Knight if you're a fan you're going to absolutely love him if you're not a fan I imagine you're probably really going to enjoy him as well and I would say most definitely give him a chance but that's the first 
of the, the Four Beginners Guide for the upcoming update. Next it will actually be Blade because he came in second in the poll. So as always, if you've enjoyed the video, take the time to hit the like button, hit the, the share button because YouTube's not very good at actually sharing my content and leave a comment below to help drive engagement. And really thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon.